My name is Jessica Walker, and this is my testimony. For as long as I can remember, I have had an issue where sometimes when I eat, um, what happens is food will get lodged in my throat, and I would have to go to the bathroom and get relief somehow. This always happened at the most inconvenient times, whether I was at a friend's house, I was driving down the road, um, I was out in a restaurant, I would have to go to the bathroom and something would have to give. Later on in life, um, I went to the doctor because I had to figure out what was going on. And they did an endoscopy and a biopsy. They stretched my esophagus while they were in there and they found out that I had something called eosinophilic esophagitis. What that meant was that um, I had a trigger that would cause a certain allergy that would cause my esophagus to tighten up. But they couldn't figure out what that was. I went to allergists, they had me on all sorts of medication. Um, and every few years I would have to go back and get my esophagus stretched. And eventually what happened was I wasn't able to get that stretched anymore. The last time I went to the doctor um, and I had an endoscopy done, they had to use a neonatal scope, and when they went in, they told me that my esophagus looked like hamburger meat, and it was a miracle that I was able to eat anything at all other than baby food. And I had already decided at that point that I was gonna do something called an elimination diet. The nurse practitioner actually told me that the elimination diet was too hard, and that I probably wouldn't get any results out of it, but I told her, yes, I was gonna have to. I couldn't be on medicine for the rest of my life, and if my esophagus was as in as bad a shape as they said it was, we had to make some changes. It couldn't stay like that forever. Pastor Chris had a healing service and I went up front and I just wanted some answers. And after I left that night, I felt very clearly in my spirit that I needed to try eggs, even though that was a couple months down the road. Within the week I had the answer. I, I had had problems and so I knew it was eggs. So I eliminated eggs from my life and I was okay with that. If I didn't have to be on medicine for the rest of my life and all I had to do was not eat eggs, hey, I'm happy. At the beginning of the summer last year, Pastor Sue uh, came in a staff meeting and was talking about Pastor Todd Smith and his teaching at the North Georgia Revival. And the way she talked about it and her enthusiasm for it was so, powerful and so convincing that I had to figure out what was going on. And so I ordered a couple of his books and I started listening online. I started listening to her talking about it. And I found out about the um, immersion services they were having and all the miracles that were going on down there. Pastor Chris uh, was scheduled to preach at the West Kentucky Revival in Nortonville on December 26th and 27th and I had made my mind up that I was going to go to those services. About a week beforehand, I thought about those services and the fact that I was probably going to get in the water, and I had made my mind up that I was going to get in the water on the 27th, and I wasn't going to be allergic to eggs anymore. So I started praying that entire week. That Sunday night, the immersions were amazing. People were getting wrecked in the water. And I sat there and I cheered those people on. But deep inside I was thinking, man, I wanna go over there and get in the water right now. <laughs> but I kept telling myself, no, your miracle comes tomorrow. Tomorrow's your miracle. The next morning, the boys and I were watching the TV show, The Chosen. And the episode that we watched was about the Pool of Bethesda. And it stirred my faith big time because it was like God was speaking to me, saying, this whole time, you've gone through this. Do you want to be well? And I did, I was ready. I was ready to be well. We went to those services that night and during the preaching even, I felt burning in my esophagus. I felt so much burning and it was like it was never going to get to the immersions part of the service. <laughs> Pastor got up there and started talking about 
every single one of the praise team members and I thought, my gosh, will he just stop so I can go get in the water? <laughs> and so I finally got to go back there and the whole time I'm still feeling this burning sensation. I go to get in the water and just this crazy peace came over me and I thought, okay, this is it. This is, this is my time. When I went down into the water, I didn't hold my nose. And I remember that vividly because when I came up, it wasn't just the burning sensation from my throat anymore. I also had the burning sensation down my nostrils. And I just knew things were different. The whole way home, my throat was burning. The, that whole night, it was burning. I woke up the next morning and I had me some scrambled eggs and they were delicious. But I wouldn't have an answer as to whether I was healed for a few days. That's just the nature of the condition. Here it is, four weeks later, and I've eaten eggs or something with egg in it almost every day. I haven't had a single issue. And I can't tell you what it's like to eat and know without a shadow of a doubt that I'm going to be able to sit there and finish my meal without having to go to the bathroom. So I challenge you, if you've gotten comfortable with something, it may not be a physical thing, but if you've gotten comfortable with something, if you've just been okay with something, it's not okay. And you need to get delivered from that. You need to let God do what he does best and you need to let him allow you to live the life that he wants you to live. Get in the water, experience his goodness, and get your miracle.